Hello and welcome again to the NovaTime Technical Library. In today's video, we'll be discussing shift numbers, or what's commonly referred in the field as work schedules for individual employees. The first step is to determine how many shift numbers you'll need for your organization. As you can see, I'm logged into the employee page, and I've already chosen that I need three shifts, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and I also need a flexible shift. Let's go ahead and discuss major differences in the setup. When determining what shifts were needed in the system, I determined my 7 a.m. to 3.30 is a permanent fixed time. So I went ahead and selected yes, and I selected Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 15.30. What this does in the back end of the system is going to automatically populate these times Monday through Friday. In addition, I noted the employees did not punch for meal and I wanted 30 minutes deducted after five hours of work. Let's quickly discuss a flexible shift. A flexible shift allows for an employee to say there's no start and end time of when the employee is going to work. So you'll notice that Monday and through Friday is just check marked throughout the day. Uh, referencing back to the employee general page, we'll see we have three employees on the three shifts that we set up. Let's go to Mike Jones' timesheet. You will see that on Monday, he's showing his absent and his scheduled time was 7 to 15.30 because he's on that first shift that we set up. On Tuesday, he clocked in at 6.45 and it's showing E15, saying he's early by 15 minutes. We quickly go over to his schedule. You'll see the system is automatically populating his schedule Monday through Friday, just as we said the wizard should do. Now let's quickly reference all three employees in the work schedules we've assigned them after the wizard was completed. I'm going to go up to the recap, and you're going to see that Mike Jones is scheduled Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 15.30. David Barnett, he's scheduled Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And Donald Christensen is on the flexible shift where it does not say a specific time, so he can clock in throughout the day and the system will not code him as tardy or leaving early. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that on Donald Christensen's timesheet. You'll see he clocks in at random times throughout the day and there is never an in expression or out expression. However, the system will code absences for this employee. To recap, if you want Nova time to track exceptions such as tardies, leaving early, or absences, you need to select permanent scheduled start and end times. If the start and end times are random or you do not wish to track these exceptions, choose a flexible shift. When answering questions about the meal period, the first question is, do your employees clock in and out for their meals? If it's yes, determine what the NovaTime system should do in case they are short of their meal. Let's say, for example, I was off the clock for 25 minutes. Should NovaTime take the additional five minutes out of their meal period to, to make a total of 30 minutes for the meal period. If they do not clock in and out for their meal, then you want NovaTime to automatically deduct this time. Please determine how many hours of work they would qualify for. For example, if I clock in from 8 a.m. to 12 for four hours, you probably would not want this rule initiated until after the fifth or the sixth hour. 